Coach, you went into the Tennessee Tech game, beat up. You had four starters out, um, and you were able to win 34-14. to What does it mean for your program when you can go in down in numbers and beat another FCS program like you did? Well, every win is important. Uh, you play a team, uh, different part of the country. Uh, you're uh, playing a team that's uh, at the same level. You, you want to hopefully represent your conference and, uh, and come out with a victory. Uh, we played a very good Tennessee Tech team. They had uh, a lot of weapons offensively. They played sound defense, and, and we had to beat them. They weren't going to beat themselves. And uh, our kids executed at a high level, uh, played extremely hard, and uh, we were fortunate enough to come away with a win. You utilized two quarterbacks most of the night, Brad Butler and Evan Jacks. Uh, talk about their play against Tech and, and how important it was that they combined for over 130 rushing yards between them. Well, I, I think you got to understand that when you're running a, an option offense, the quarterback's going to have his chances to run the football. And uh, Tennessee Tech was trying to defend us, uh, taking away the fullback as well as taking away the pitch. Therefore, it gave us an opportunity to run the quarterback. Um, we had several long runs. Uh, we, uh, we had some uh, situations where we had some pass plays that, that converted into runs for the quarterback. So uh, we, we've got to have two ready. Uh, matter of fact, we've got four guys ready. So it's, um, it, w it was good to see both of them come in, both of them be productive, uh, both of them execute at a high level. Mike Jones is out for the year at offensive line. Uh, right. TJ Chamberlain has not played the first two games. Um, your thoughts on how your offensive line has looked, especially considering you, you were missing two of your key cogs last week. Well, we're, we're getting better. Uh, all of our guys are, are great kids. Uh, they're hard workers. That they do an excellent job as far as studying the game. Uh, some guys, it, it's just more difficult to, to connect all the dots uh, as an offensive player. That there's so many things that go on, uh, not only understanding uh, your assignment, what the play is specifically, but they've got to be able to identify defenses. They have to be able to check right uh, just a, a moment before the ball snapped, depending on if the defense shifts or not. Uh, they, they've got to be squared away as far as uh, protections in the passing game. And so th th there's a lot that goes on. Uh, we, we have a group that's willing to work. We have a group that uh, Coach Nash does a great job of coaching and uh, in the classroom as well as on the field. After the Clemson loss, and, and last year was a difficult year as well in so many ways, was there a sense that the Tennessee Tech win is, is the start of something? Well, I, it's, uh, it's better than what it could have been. I'll, I'll put it like that. Uh, it, any time that, that you play a quality team and you come away with the victory, whether it's in your conference or out of your conference, it, it's a major plus. Uh, th there's no doubt that uh, coming out of the Clemson game, uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody was feeling really chipper. Uh, we did not play up to our level, and uh, we were very disappointed. And we wanted to try to make amends, and uh, we came out and, and played extremely well against a good football team. All right, this week you go all the way across the country. You play Idaho, uh, indoor facility. Uh, what do you know about the Vandals? I know they played Southern Cal the other night, and well, Southern Cal is very, very good. Well, uh, th they've played Ohio U, and they've played Southern Cal. Uh, They've lost both games. Uh, good football team, uh, struggling a little bit. Uh, they, they have big time athletes. Their defensive front uh, is very good. Uh, they have a lot of team speed. They play uh, in the Sun Belt Conference uh, against App, Georgia Southern, and all those people. And they're a great challenge for us. Uh, We'll have to play well, and we'll have to go out and, and play for 60 minutes. What kind of offense do they run? Kind of like everybody else nowadays, 
you know, it's spread, it's throw it all over the lot, uh, three by one, two by two, empty, you name it, they've got it. And uh, presents a challenge, it really does. Uh, we're going to have to do a great job of pressuring the quarterback and hopefully come away with some uh, takeaways. Uh, offensively, no doubt we're, we're going to have to try to control the tempo of the game uh, with our offense, but that's going to be a difficult uh, job. And then uh, kicking game-wise, we, we've got to get squared away on our kick coverage. Back to the defense for a minute. Uh, you were without E.J. Speller on, on the defensive front last week. In fact, you started a true freshman, Miles Brown. Brandon Zamory backed him up. How'd they look on film? They did well. Did very well for true freshmen. Did, did very well if they'd been upperclassmen. Uh, Miles had a sack. Uh, he maintained his gap integrity which uh which helps a lot when you're uh playing in uh gap sound defense and uh Zamory came in and uh, did an excellent job with uh, uh playing pretty much the, the same position uh did a nice job hunkering down when they tried to double team him out uh tried uh tried to apply pressure to the quarterback and and got close a couple times so I thought they did exceptionally well for freshmen. And speaking of young guys, uh, Malik Rivera also had to make the start, a redshirt freshman yeah. with Jaleel Green not playing at the safety spot. How did he do? He did well. Uh, they didn't throw it over his head, which was uh, a major plus. And then uh, he made some plays. Had a couple that he'd like to have back but uh, on missed tackles, but uh, he made some plays. And uh, I think uh, – he proved to himself that, that he can play. I think he gained some confidence.